Alright folks, welcome back. I'm Mysterious JG, and I'm here to say we're going to the Cloister of Trials in a major way. Did we get... Oh, we did get Ability Spheres. Alright, so who do we want to give them to? Because now, Waka, Titus, Kamari... Oh, well, Kamari. Because he can get Extract Ability, which means that we shouldn't have to worry about not being able to get Ability Spheres anymore. Alright, so that was... That was the logical choice there. Now on his pe now on his little central thing here, we're gonna wrap yeah we're gonna run out of stuff to do with him. I either need to get a level one key sphere and set him on Riku's path. And uh, spoiler alert, she'll be the last character to become a permanent party member, which means that this would give us access to her skills earlier in the game. But she's also combat-wise pretty crappy. We could send him along. If we wanted to be useful, as annoying as he can be as a personality in the game, uh, Titus is actually probably the most useful character in my experience. So we can send him on Titus' path. We can send him on Oren's path. Uh, Oren will be coming back. Shocking spoilers again, I'm sorry. And um, Waka. I always find... I always sort of thought Waka was useful in my, uh, my actual like, memory card in my PS2, but that's mostly because I was able to get his ultimate weapon. I've never been able to get Titus's. It involves a minigame that I'm, I'm... I hate. You have to do really well in a minigame that I don't enjoy. Uh, but Waka's I got, which basically turned him into this ludicrously overpowered character. Uh, but I think based on his own stats and stuff, he ain't that hot, necessarily, so... I have to think about this. Maybe what I do with Kamari. It doesn't really matter what I do with him here, because, of course, we'll be loading state later. So maybe I should stop thinking about it and just, um... Well, as far as dealing with bosses, the most useful thing you can probably have is black magic. Lulu is the best character against most bosses. So I could, uh... Well, I could certainly send him to grab those skills from Lulu's path and then send him back up here towards, like, uh... To get some Waka or Oron skills. Yeah, that might be the best thing to do. Alright, so let's, uh. We'll ignore Yuna's spells down there. Lulu can move up to here and grab. that, but not necessarily grab a skill. Oh, that was actually kind of stupid. I, st I figured I could move her now, but she still can't move as many sphere points as she's got. And now, Waka can't really move. And neither can Titus. <sighs> well, Titus could move down here. I just have to remember to... Yeah, forget it. I'm not doing any more of this on camera. Sorry. <coughs> Let's get back to the game. Huh. Yeah. Ladies last. I mean, first. I mean. So, uh, they got fiends in Zenarkan too. Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. Uh, hey, since one of you believe me about Zanarkin anyway. Yeah, no kidding. I've been thinking. Maybe. Well, don't do that. Your head might start time. to hurt. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time, and then one day. It's like that Doctor Who thing with the angels, but in reverse. Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? You make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Yuna's like, shut up, guys. What the f Stop. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. Come on, I say, yeah, no baby, I agree with you. Subject, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska either. What I'm saying it's is, you all suck. And sad. I can replace Lord Braska. I, I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu, and Waka's brother Chapu. Mm -hmm. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Yep. Best not to go there. Probably shouldn't have talked over that scene, because it's actually... 
kind of important. Lulu, absolutely right in everything she was saying, yet incredibly bitchy at the same time to say it. Yuna kind of runs after her, presumably so they can have a girl talk, but it's hard to imagine Yuna being assertive enough to tell Lulu off. <laughs> Not that that's necessarily what the girl talk would entail, but Lulu basically just got done cutting the balls off of most of the party, including Yuna. Cut off Yuna's girl balls by saying she wasn't uh, her replacement for Lord Braska. Kamari, really the only one who got out of that, okay, which is kind of why I assume he was just walking along not giving a crap. Yep, I'm talented. So this is the place remembered in honor of High Summoner Holland. Makes you kind of nervous, y'all. High Summoner All Holland, Blitzball Player, Summoner, Specter. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna. Yeah, that's what I gotta do when I get back to the states, man. I got my LP Mass Effect, cause nobody's done that, right? I gotta play real hard. I should probably play Mass Effect Three since I haven't played that yet, but uh, I liked Mass Effect better than Mass Effect Two, which seems to be a minority opinion. Famous people come here. Where could they be? Well, freaking high summoner. Well, not high summoner, but uh, just summoner units here. That's pretty, pretty big, isn't it? Oh well, we just got done defeating a uh, sin spawn. Nobody up here seems to have noticed, but Ooh, oh my god, he is exploding. These guys are like ruthless warlords bent on destroying the world according to the music. Us pray? Who needs to pray? The Luka goers always win. Ooh. Oh yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this You just said you don't pray, huh? So what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best <coughs> isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? An anonymous black this dude time laughs. We play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. Let's go, girls! See you in the finals! We'll beat them. We have to. You know that, team? Putting people down? They're as bad as my old man. But, Sir Jekt was a kind and gentle man. And I root for the goers. Well, not my Jekt. Uh... Even ten years after he left. I was still bitching about him to my girlfriend. <laughs> But maybe that was just my way of keeping him... Nah. Nah. Oh, shut up, Titus. Just get over it. Jack was a kind of gentleman. My dad's the biggest jerk ever. You won't give me a PlayStation for my birthday. Mm. That was Bixen. He's a jerk, but a first-rate blitzer. What do you know about Bixen? What do you know about Sovereign, Bixen's flagship? Could they have been celebrities? Oh, shut up! We're here with the girl who's gonna save the world from sin. See, I told you she's doable, Jesus. She's, like, cute and accessible, and apparently she's gonna save us all from her sins. Hopefully her sins do not include lusting after uh, digital chicks, because uh, I think a lot of nerds have been guilty of that sin, with, uh, you know, over the years. May the killer could be so in this year's tournament. Yeah. I'm reminded, and this is a sad and dark thing to dwell on, but I'm reminded of, um, you know, 9-11 and the, the horrible events of that day, and um, the Super Bowl that year, uh, everyone kept, I forget who played in the Super Bowl, it was the Patriots, and I forget who the NFC team was. Um, I, I should look it up if I'm going to talk about it seriously, but let's just say for the sake of argument uh, that it was the... Let's just say it was the Green Bay Packers, all right? Because I think if it had been the Giants, people would have been excited about New York rising up to win. So let's say it was the Packers. It wasn't. It was some other NFC team. Maybe, yeah, that's a small. Maybe it was the Packers. But uh, all the commentators and people were talking about, you know, oh, wouldn't it be great if the Patriots won? It would be the symbol of America recovering. And I remember that Sir Paul McCartney was doing. Uh, he just popped into the booth during the Super Bowl because he played at the halftime show. And, saying, and at that point, the Patriots were well ahead on points. Like most Super Bowls, it was a blowout, and the result was known by the end of the first quarter. But 
you know, sometime late in the game, it's like, oh, and it's so wonderful, and the, 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 the Patriots have come up and truly represented the spirit of America. I think it's so appropriate that a team called the Patriots would win. And I'm thinking to myself, what, Green Bay or whatever the NFC team was? Apologies to people who actually know. Did they stop being part of America all of a sudden? And this guy's over here is like, I hope the killer can beasts win because sin is... And I'm like, well, you know what? It's like if Besaid wins, that's like a horrible crime. And that, like, they're the team that sin supports. And I was a long and pointless little diatribe. Those who disobey the precepts and enter unsanctioned may forfeit their lives. <laughs> You will burn, Titus. You will burn for your sins. So this time, don't go in. Guess what? I really like studying the scriptures. The monk gives us lots of sweets if you study hard. I was supposed to study real hard and become a nun, but I just want to run around and play at the beach. Well, I really learned a lot there. Thanks, guys. I have a much better understanding of this world now than I used to have. Turns out, little kids in this world like playing and candy. Okay, let's avoid talking to our own party members because that will trigger events and I want to chat with the Blitzers first. Yeah, I want to win the burn of this vic- This will be my victory pose. I enjoy your happy-go-lucky attitude. Ha 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 ha! just like giggling at him. The beasts- Kill the beasts are basically the big jobbers of Blitzball. The story tells us that the Besaid Aurochs are the jobbers of Blitzball, but obviously since you're playing as them, they have to be able to win. The beasts become your whipping boy team when you're trying to level up. Please, let Waka's prayers be heard. But he's praying that you'll suddenly become attracted to him. Please, let Waka's prayers be heard. He's praying that suddenly you'll abandon your quest to defeat Sin and get it on with him. He's got a secret crush on you, you know? I think Waka needs to do a little more praying. I think, I think you need to stop being such a bitch. I've got nothing, buddy. Get away, punk ass. Lord O'Hallan, guide our feet. Yeah, I'll pray, why not? Let's bow victory. And Lord O'Hallan's like, you know that I used to play for the Kill of the Beasts, right? I'm, I'm totally rooting for them. I can tell by your ridiculous outfit. It's almost as bad as mine. My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Bitch. Hey, Donna. From the so Isle of Shut the Fuck Up. Summon Nebraska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians. <laughs> my, what a rabble. Mm. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Got that quality over quantity. Uh, women looking at each other with that smelling onions favorite. look on their faces. I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. Hmm. I trust them all with my life. Well, maybe not Waka. To have so many guardians is a joy. And an honor. So get to stepping, bitch! Even more so than being my father's daughter. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. The ways of the slut can be rewarding. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. Hey, this is my temple, bitch. You can't tell me to leave. If you want, Portella, we're leaving. Confrontation is icky. <sighs> Which is why it's strange that I'm going to defeat the most monstrous creature of evil ever. Someone she can trust with her life. Why is she staring at me? Did Yuna feel that way about me? Why are her hands there? What's she smiling about? <laughs> Sorry, folks. When she thinks of him, she looks just so Anybody else? Think of you, uh, Lord uh, <laughs> just kind of people you can trust, people you would depend, like you'd leave your life in their hands. 
What an interesting thing to say while staring at me and smiling, and her hands are kind of hovering around the... Well, uh, whatever. I'm probably thinking about it too hard. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's nice to know that uh, there's other summoners out there besides Yuna, and that there are also the chicks in ridiculous outfits. Do it. <laughs> well, apparently, faith? super obnoxious. But first, the Cloister of Trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Well, we don't have to do anything, do we? Strength, everyone. No, da. Nah. Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Um, we'll be back as soon as we can, okay? But she said she wanted me to be a guardian, and uh. oh, soon, like tomorrow soon, I bet. I'll go fight some more sin spawn without you then. Fine. <laughs> All right, well. You know, I'm the kind of guy who respects other people's religious traditions, so, um... I'm certainly not gonna go down there without permission. Yep, I'll just wander off and leave. Where do you want me? That's interesting. Alright, well, maybe it wants me to go down there. No? Where's Yuna? Then why are you here? He shrugs. He can't talk, apparently. Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm, not a guardian. Yeah, she doesn't trust me. Hey, wait! He just lets people come up to him and start groping him. Interesting. Go! Hey! What's a big idea? Just a little game. Huh? The evil Donna. Plots to ruin things for Titus while the camera focuses on her butt cheeks. So he got. Come on, go up, go up. Yeah, in a particularly childish plot point, uh, they needed you to go to the Cloister of Trials, so they make you, uh, Donna and Bartello, dump you in there just to be dicks. It gives you the option to wait here, which is nice. Uh, except that it's actually obnoxious, since there's no way for you to get out. You have to go inside. Giving you the option to wait here is just a way of tricking you into thinking there's some kind of special thing where you can respect their religious traditions, when in fact, you are not allowed to. Guardians allowed. And I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now. I don't have what it takes to be a guardian. To be a guardian, you have to wander around in a blitzball uniform, like walk up. Oh, well, I guess I'd do that. Well, but you have to be like a big blue monster, or possibly a chick in a corset, or I don't know exactly what it takes to be a guardian. Yuna has to trust you. Okay. Well, if she trusts me. She's an idiot because uh, <coughs> was she to get drunk and pass out, I'd be all over that. Yeah, that was disgusting. I had Rufy her drink in a minute. Alright, so it's the cloister, and uh, we can't go in there because we'll burn ourselves to death. You don't have the ability to burn yourself to death, but yeah, here you go. You pop it in, set it on fire, pop it out, it stops burning. Interesting. And you burn a glyph symbol. Ah, because if you put the glyph thing there before putting the Killika thing there, uh, nothing happens, I believe. The ones on the side there, I think, are just to give you a space to... Uh, I think all they are for is giving you a space to drop them off, so you don't have to go all the way to the beginning. The glyph repels me. Must be a picture of uh, Carrot Top. Or perhaps Gallagher. Alright, well, let's play with this. What if we push this thing into the. Uh... That does not appear to have been helpful. And now I need to reset the room. If I even can reset the room. It generally does not allow you to make the game unwinnable.
Oh, we have to touch the glyph. Well, there you go. That's... Oh, okay. Well, that was kind of silly. Alright. No, I'm trying to get it. You push the damn thing, Titus. Thank you. Jesus. Doable, Jesus. I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. Trust with my sacred virgin. No, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so what do we want to do here? Uh, take this thing out of here and... I don't really know that that did anything useful, but... And we can't go down the stairs because there's super deadly flames. So let's push this thing over maybe to that glowy spot on the floor. I'm doing my cooking to walk. Oh. So presumably the Guardians and Yuna figured this out before Titus even got there. Because they're that awesome. Doesn't seem to have helped anything. Putting this here do any good? Oh, it does. What do you know? Shut off the flames. And it gave us a destruction sphere. That's nice. Okay. I'm thinking at this point that we're real close to getting out, but I can't remember what you do with the destruction sphere to get a treasure. And since I did that in the first one, and I did it in my off-screening of this, I remember it took me a while to figure it out then, too, but I've forgotten what the solution was. Either way. I pretty much need to showcase it now. I'm obligated. I believe if we go through there, we... Yeah, that's it. We can't go through there now, or we'll, uh... It didn't restore the flames. Can't go through there now, or it will, um... Take us to the next bit of plot, and we won't get to do this thing with the destruction sphere, so let's, uh... Let's try playing around some more. <coughs> it has something to do with that pillar. Putting the destruction sphere in the pillar. I know the pillar needs to go in that shiny spot on the floor, which is where it is now. Maybe if you put a Kilika sphere here, something happens? Sure hope so. Yeah, good. Alright, this will be it then. And, uh, see, now there's a sphere down here that's revealed, and if we move it out of there and put the destruction sphere in its place, Bet you that will do something. That is probably going to be it. I don't know why I'm thinking of it now, but when I went to DFAC today, I tried to take some popsicles out to put in my freezer, and a marine saw that they were my pockets were bulging and made me empty them out. It was a female marine. Uh, so yeah, it's like, um, I've got a cold and I'm feeling bad, and I just wanted some popsicles. The United States Marine Corps came down hard. Don't mess with the marines and try to steal popsicles. That's a message from me to you. G.I. Joe. Not that I was threatened with it specifically, but uh, the Marine did, in fact, have an M16, so... And I got a red omelette. Yay, I got an omelette. I mean, omelette. <coughs> Haven't checked on equipment in a while. Um, 
Red Shield's probably better than what you've been using. You've got the Harpoon, which has not as good, but the Red Armlet is good. It, it reduces his damage from three different elements at once. Yeah, all right, that's going to be it for that. And critical warning! Oh, crap. Alright, folks, I had kind of an unexpected little uh, warning message that the ship was about to crash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a video here before things can go wrong. Um... When we come back, well, I mean, we're, let's see, we can save our state tier so that we know where to pick up from. When we come back, it'll be time for more exciting stuff. So, uh, basically, we finished the closure trial, so we'll have to get chewed out by our party members for having come in here, even though we weren't supposed to. And um, once that's done, we'll be ready to get rolling with a more exciting adventure. And I need to clear some disk space so that I don't get an error like this again. Thanks for watching, folks. See you guys next time.